Hi, how would you go about replicating a sequence? When it comes to the modular signal path, there are a number of intersection points to cut into. For example, you could use the word sequence to refer to the final audio output of a synthesizer that's being sequenced. It could also mean that sequenced oscillators outputs prior to having effects applied. It could mean the series of stepped control voltages that determine the oscillator's pitches from moment to moment. That's a beauty of the availability to us of signal flow in a modular synth. We can cut in and disrupt at any of these points all of which work together in concert to determine the ultimate output. So when it comes to sequence copying via multimod, there are similarly several different types of signal flow available simultaneously, and we could choose to make and distribute our copies at any point in this sequence of events. Let's take a step back even from that sequence of notes and copy the clock signal used to drive a sequence. Here we've got the XPO and STO patched up to be sequenced by the X and Y channels of Rene. We'll start by molting the clock out to the X clock input. And we'll send the other copy to Multimod and use one of its outputs to clock the Y clock. Let's uh, reset the channels first of all. So I have these two channels set up to output the exact same sequence, so they sound like one, and they're slightly out of phase from each other because of the delay created by the time control. We can knock them further out of phase using the phase control, of course. This kind of phase drifting is always fun, but let's also see about tempo syncing. We'll take a slower channel of Tempe to the multi-mod tempo input. Time now becomes a division of that clock, and spread will change starting from that division. Let's move our X clock source to a multi-mod channel. Now this bottom row will modulate in the opposite direction from the top row channel that's clocking the Y sequence when it comes to spread. So, changing up spread a bit, we'll see what happens. Let's modulate spread a little too. We'll use the uh, Wogglebug stepped random 
blocked also by Tempe. Different reed shapes will give us variation. As you've probably realized by now, I'm pretty fond of the sign shape. It'll take a set of steadily clocked signals like this and give them a pendulous speeding up and slowing down. A lot of interesting rhythmic juxtapositional potential. some other reed shapes.
of a sequence would you cut into and replicate? There are a lot of possible ways to do this. Is this the best one? Probably not. I hope you're having fun out there replicating all kinds of signals with Multimod. Thanks for watching and happy patching.